Uh, today we'll be discussing set representation, <coughs> specifically roster, triple layer form, and set builder notation. So first, quick recap lang. Uh, what are sets? Sets are a list of elements within curly brackets which are separated with commas. Uh, next slide. Now, first, we have the roster triple form. In a simple explanation, it is a it is representing a set by listing all its elements within curly braces, and each element is separated by commas. This notation is straightforward and suitable for small sets with limited number of elements. Now, for example, set A contains elements one, two, three, four, five. Simple na na That is what is that's roster to be formed. Next slide. Now we have here a uh, problem. Integers greater than negative four and less than or equal to seven. So the roster tubular form, we will write as set i and anything above negative four. And we will not write down negative four because it is greater, it is said greater than negative four. So we will list down negative three until to seven. Now why did we do seven? Because this says equal to now for the second problem, set E positive even numbers less than 20. Now the roster tubular form will write down or list down in curly in curly braces 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. Those are positive even numbers. We do not include in we do not include 20 because we did not say equal to 20. We will only read, write down and even numbers uh, less than 20. Now these are examples of finance sets. Now moving on, let's see. We also have infinite sets. An example of infinite set would be 1, 2, 3, 4, and then we will uh, put comma, then we put three dots. This means that the set will be continuous, non-ending, or never-ending. Moving on. An infinite set contains an uncountable or indefinitely large number of elements. Examples of infinite set include the set of all natural numbers, the set of real numbers, and the set of all prime numbers. For instance, consider the infinite set of natural numbers. Now, natural numbers are numbers from positive 1 to positive infinity. Whole numbers are 0 to positive infinity. And integers, negative infinity plus 0 and plus uh, positive infinity. We include 0 and negative infinity. And moving on. Now, for we have uh, the next topic is set builder notation. It is a way to define a set by specifying the properties that its elements must satisfy. It typically consists of two parts, the variable representing the element and the condition that it determines if an element belongs to the set. Now for example, a set of all even numbers less than 10 can be represented as set B such that all X is the such that all Set B is the set of all x such that x is an even number and x is less than 10. Now, the vertical bar is read as such that the variable x represents the element of the set. The condition after the bar defines the properties or the uh, next. Represents the element must have to be included in the set. Now here we have the meanings of the symbol. The symbol for E is the element of. The symbol of E with the dash, it means it's not an element of. W denotes the whole number. Z integers. N all natural numbers. And R for all real numbers. Q means rational numbers. I don't Q means rational numbers. There are any numbers that can be expressed as a fraction. Going on. Uh, 
uh, question. Represent the set A, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, using set builder notation. Now, the answer for this is set A, well, the set of A is it? Set A is the, is the element of all X such that X is an element and the condition it represents is 1, negative, 1 less than or equal to X and X is less than or equal to 5. Uh, X represents the element in the set. X is the integer. It's an integer, remember? It specifies that the elements are integers. And the condition specifies that the elements are between 1 and 5. Moving on. Now, we have examples. Integer greater than negative 4, less than or equal to 8. The rest of form is very uh, simple. We write down all the elements in front. Negative 4. Negative 4 is not included. <laughs> negative 4 is not included, yes. Yeah, negative 3, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, until positive 8. Then, set builder notation is set A is the set of all X such that X is the element of Z is integers. And the condition is negative 4 is less than X. X is less than or equal to 8. One, guys, did it include in a negative form? So the negative form is not part of Yes, it's not part of the Russian triple form. This should be, this is correct. And moving on. But write the set of all numbers that is less than 8 in roster notation and in set builder notation. Set of all numbers less than 8. So all whole numbers. So we start from zero. Zero until seven, we will not include eight because it is said that the condition is less than eight. And set builder notation, again, it's very self-explanatory. Set W is the set of all X. Again, this is read as such that X is the element of four numbers. And the condition, zero, less than or negative, less than or equal to X, and X is less than or less than eight. Uh, X is the element of W, which specifies that the elements are whole numbers, which represent the set of whole numbers. Now, a set of positive integers divisible by 7. Now, we list out, it did not say when will it end. So, we will, this is a infinite, an example of infinite set. So, we will write down all the elements, but we cannot, so we will use three dots. So, set D is the all elements of set D is 0, 7, 14, 21, 28, until positive infinity that are divisible by 7. Now the set builder notation, um, set, D is, is the, set D is the element of all x such that x is the element of z. z is in integer again. x is divisible by 7. That is, that is, there is no specific condition, but the condition is divisible by 7. Condition of what x is divisible by 7? Yes. And moving on. Set of prime numbers between 15 and 100. Can I put a So, we will list down all prime numbers between 50 and 100. Can I put a So, the elements are 53, 59, 61. Seven and so on. Now the set builder notation is again set P is the set of all x such that x is the element of C and x is a prime number. Fifty, I don't know. Fifty is less than x and x is less than one hundred. Moving on. All. Yes. What's the meaning of it? How to identify these prime numbers? 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 Pr
So basically guys, prime numbers are basically the numbers that is divisible by one and one and itself. For example, for example, let's say three. A divisible by three is only one and three. Yeah, the only prime number na even ra is two. Ano man, since ang divisible by two is only one and itself. Any number that is multiply, like for example, a one, let's say one, two, yeah, four, is visible by anything else is considered composite. So many of prime numbers, Anna, is like, what is that? prime number considered, kay, for example, 20. Kay. At 20, pretty much a divisible by 5 and 4 and 2. Diba? That's why again, the only factors of 51 is itself and 1. Okay, 51 ah. times 1 is 51. Moving on. Now, provide the set of positive even numbers less than 15. Now, many condition they is infinite. Uh, F, set F, the the limit of set F is 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. Now we end on 14 because the condition set less than 15. Now, for the set builder notation, we use 2x. Now why 2x? Okay, wait. Set F is the set F is the set of all 2x such that x is the element of n natural numbers and 1 is less than or equal to x and x less than equal to 7. Now, why 2x? Two, because it is a simplification form. 2 times 1 is 2. Now, 2 times 7 is 14. This is the simplest form. 2x, example, 2 times 2 times 1, 2. 2 times 2, 4. 2 times 3, 6. 2 times 4, 8. 2 times 5, 10. 2 times 6, 12, 2 times 7, 14. We only, this is the simplest form. Now, if we want odd numbers, we will put plus 1 here, plus 1, 2x plus 1. If you want to have, uh, if, you want, if you want even or odd numbers, I mean odd numbers. Now, moving on. Now, my question, Ani. Any questions? Do you need a No. So, this is two. Yeah. 2x. 2x. Uh, even numbers. If you want to find even numbers, we use this. 2x. If you want to find odd numbers, we use 2x plus 1. This is me. So, another number is. If even to extra. Extra. Extra, yes. Now, moving on. Can I So, let's example. Write a set of positive perfect square numbers that are less than 16. Now, positive perfect are. Uh, a number multiplied by itself. So, 1 times 1, 2 times 2, 3 times 3. 4 times 4. Now, we start all positive perfect. 1, 4, 9, 6, 6, 49. Now, we stop at 49 because the condition said less than 16. Perfect square. We stop at 49 because 8 times 8 is 64. It goes beyond 16. The condition said less than 60, so we stop at 49. Now, the set builder notation. It is said positive perfect square. Now we need to take note that we said perfect square. So the x should be squared. So set x is set, set s is the set, set s is the set, set 